The Goat and His Master by Navia Karana. Hello, this is Natasha, and I'm back with another story written by one of you. It's to celebrate the Year of the Goat. I'm reading stories that you wrote for our story writing competition. This one is short, but makes a good point. There was a goat in Mercer. He had a kind owner who grew him with love. One day the goat thought, my master has taken good care of me, I owe him. So he went to his master and said, go to a rich merchant and tell that your goat can pull a hundred carts, make a bet of a hundred gold coins. And his master thought he was dreaming, but still he went to the merchant and did the wager. And as the carts were loaded, the owner got greedy thoughts in his head. With the money I'll get, I'll buy more goats. Then I'll do more bets. Then I'll be the richest man in town. With such greedy thoughts, he said, Move, you rascal, move! And the goat thought, He calls me rascal? I won't move. And so the goat stayed there. Why is my goat not moving? His owner thought. Sir, you've lost a hundred gold coins, the merchant said. The goat's owner left home sadly. But the goat didn't give up. He went to his master and said, All ain't lost. Go to the merchant again. Make a bet of two hundred gold coins this time. But remember, don't call me a rascal again. The owner of the goat did so, and so it was a 200 gold coin bet. This time the master said, Now, my fine fellow, move the carts along. And the goat did. The owner got 200 coins, and he went home as a happier, wiser and richer man. Thank you, Navia, for that very sweet story, which goes to show that it pays to be polite to a goat. In fact, if you want somebody to help you, you should be nice to them. And I would like to thank everyone who has supported Story Nori with a donation. And to mention that we do have a nice big give button on the front page of Story Nori. We really appreciate your support and everything you give us really helps. I'll be back soon with another story from our Year of the Goat competition. For now, from me, Natasha, bye-bye.